So take a look at these GPUs. Notice a pattern here. They seem to be the ones most readily in stock. Is there a reason why they're in stock? Should you avoid them? Let's go over what you should know. So today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. If you're a creative person, somebody who's curious, a lifelong learner, Skillshare is a great way in one place to get different classes in order to just grow as a person, as a creative. If you guys watch me here on YouTube, I do all sorts of tutorials, builds, and likewise on Skillshare, definitely a great place where I've learned how to hone my skills from product photography. Every time I put up a really cool looking computer to product videos, there's a lot of great creators on Skillshare. For example, I've taken the class by YC Imaging and they give you a lot of great filmmaking principles, things that I've applied to this very YouTube channel and Skillshare is a fantastic way to go about doing this. You'll get unlimited access to thousands of classes and you get great feedback from the community and even better news, it's actually really affordable, usually coming in at under $10 a month for a premium membership and the first 1,000 people to go to my link below will get a free trial of their premium membership. That way you can explore. They have so many different categories. Let me know what you guys think down below. Hey guys, Tiago with Classical Technology here. Remember to stay subscribed and smash that like button if you like content like this. Today, let's talk about particular GPUs that people see coming in stock a lot more often than other ones. Now, you know what I'm talking about. Let's say you sign up for the new egg shuffle along with that dangerous power supply. You always seem to get bundled a certain types of GPUs much more than others. Anytime there are drops on Amazon or even local stores like at Micro Center, it seems like certain GPUs stay in stock much longer than the GPUs that you may have a preference for. So when was the last time? you saw maybe an RTX 3080 or a 3070, maybe something that people really, really want, either because they're great values for gaming at their MSRP or because they still have great mining potential for the people that are purchasing it for cryptocurrency mining. So let's talk about some of the top GPUs that you may see when you're perusing and looking for a graphics card. You may see it multiple times and you may wonder, is there something wrong with this GPU? Why is it in stock and what exactly is going on? And now this this list will cover both NVIDIA and AMD GPUs in no particular order, but I'm sure you guys have seen them out in the wild, so I'm going to give you maybe an explanation why they're a little bit easier to spot than something like a 3080, which is definitely considerably harder. So first, it's the RTX 3090. This one is very simple. It's a very expensive GPU, so you're more likely to see it on the shelves or on certain drops because it's a little bit harder to move something like that. For example, anytime there's a big drop like at Best Buy of a 3060 or 3060 Ti, those are gonna go a lot faster than the more expensive GPUs that may also be available during the same day, like a 3090. So that's really the primary reason. I mean, the 3090 is the most powerful gaming GPU, very close of course to the 3080 Ti and even the 6900 XT, but for the most part it is the gaming king and it does have that juicy 24 gigabytes of VRAM, which in certain games like maybe Flight Simulator you can really start to get not close to that but at least go way over the 10 gigabytes of VRAM on something like a 3080 and of course for content creation that's going to be key having 24 gigabytes of VRAM, but the primary thing that when you see a 30 and it's not like you see these all the time, but often you may see them in your local store or certain drops. It really just comes down to the price. Original MSRP of the Founders Edition at $1,500 was already expensive, and now they're literally over $2,000 for the third-party AIB models. We're not even talking about scalper prices. We're talking about strictly MSRP. Most of them are like $2,200 to $2,300. That's why you see them on the shelves more. Nothing wrong with the GPUs. Well, aside from a couple that got broken, remember the Amazon New World fiasco? Some of the EVGA for the Win 3 GPUs, unfortunately, did have some type of glitch and they kind of broke. But overall, the 3090 still is a pretty reliable GPU. That's really the primary reason. It's really high price. But while they may stay on the shelves a little longer, eventually they do get sold because they can still be great gaming GPUs. And for cryptocurrency mining, they have 
have one of the highest hash rates that you can get and none of them are going to be limited by LHR or the light hash rate limit which all other Nvidia GPUs pretty much are affected by. So that's the primary reason there. Should you buy one? Well if your budget accommodates it and you want the best GPU certainly it's something that you should keep in mind. Now the second GPU that you often see on the shelves that's going to be the AMD 6900 XT. Once again nothing wrong with the particular GPU. It performs great at gaming this generation. It has 16 gigabytes of VRAM albeit the slower GDDR6 compared to the 3090 which has the X variant. Now some people off the bat there are going to be two reasons that the 6900 XT stays on the shelves and you can often see it. First as good as AMD did this generation people still prefer Nvidia. That's really what it comes down to. They're more comfortable with Nvidia that have been around for generation after generation of high performing GPUs. AMD certainly has had great GPUs in the past but let's face it this is the first generation that they really go head to head with Nvidia in a very long time so that's definitely one of the main reasons. Of course Nvidia has DLSS. Um, AMD is also countering with their own versions like FSR. Nvidia is also going to have ray tracing. Of course ray tracing can also be done on AMD but the key point here is Nvidia has been doing it longer and those technologies are at this point in time more advanced than their AMD counterparts. So that's the primary first reason there but there are also two other important reasons. The second reason is that the 6900 XT for the price is not really a great mining GPU. It only gets around 60 mega hash, 64 mega hash which is not too far off a 3070 which is going to be not only more efficient but considerably cheaper across the board. So that's definitely compared to the price a big reason why that takes that segment away from buying that GPU. Then it's left basically for gamers to buy it and then gamers aren't really buying it because it's so expensive. It's supposed to have an MSRP of $999 which the reference model does have but anytime you actually see the price online most of the time it's extremely expensive like if you go into a store like Micro Center the third party AIB 6900 XT cheapest one right now is usually only like seventeen to eighteen hundred dollars and some of the really expensive ones have gotten as high as twenty six hundred dollars that's considerably more expensive than most 3090s ever were and this is MSRP pricing we're not talking about secondhand scalper market so as you can see a nine hundred and ninety nine dollar GPU selling for over two thousand dollars people just don't see the value in it and when you couple that together with bad mining performance for the price as well as you know gamers having to go towards Nvidia for the features that they're used to a little bit more. That's why you see a lot of these GPUs in stock. In fact, even in my local store, I've seen the same uh, really expensive 6900 XTs stay in stock for what is months now, especially the ones that are like 24 to 2500. They simply won't sell. If it's down in, you know, between 1500 to 2000, they do seem to sell a little bit faster, even though they do take longer. But the ones above 2000, nobody's going to buy. They're just there pretty much as just like a little fancy display to show that there are some GPUs in stock. And now the same can be said of the other AMD. GPUs down the line, the 6800 XT, even the 6700 XT is certainly a very popular GPU. The 6700 XT is a GPU you're often going to see pop up in the Newegg Shuffle. In fact, the first time I ever joined the Newegg Shuffle, that's exactly what was offered to me. And even Best Buy, Micro Center, and online, 6700 XT you'll often see in stock that you can actually get. One of the primary reasons, really, once again, is going to be the very high price. It's coming in at close to $1,000 for many models. Even the cheaper ones are $800 to $900 and for that price it just really doesn't make any sense for most gamers. They rather get maybe a 3070 or something like that. I mean that's more expensive than the 3080 should have cost and it's pretty much approaching the price of the 6900 XT's MSRP so people aren't too happy about that 6700 XT pricing even though in and of itself it's not a bad GPU at all. It's just priced a little bit too high and that's why you see it more often on the shelves. So now let's get to the 3080 Ti. Like the 3090, this is sort of almost a flagship gaming GPU and the reason why you're going to see it on the shelves more and even my friend recently was able to get one. He walked in and it was actually in stock and people have been offered it in the new egg shuffle. You're going to see these more because first they're going to be light hash rate meaning that their mining performance is cut in half. That takes out you know most of the population of miners that really don't want to buy this GPU for that purpose. Some still will 
but that leaves mostly gamers. And then gamers aren't buying it as fast as they would have maybe a 3080 because it's simply very expensive. Now, the one my friend got is going to be one of the cheaper ones at $1399 MSRP. Originally, it's supposed to be $1199, but that's the NVIDIA Founders Edition, which is very difficult to get. So $1,400 for a 3080 Ti, certainly pretty expensive. It's actually not too far from the price of 3080s on the secondhand market. I think the reason the 3080 is so close in price to the 3080 Ti, even though the 3080 Ti is is a better performing GPU in games simply because the 3080, especially if it's not LHR, is going to have more value for both gamers as well as the crypto miners, therefore leaving its value considerably higher than something that kind of takes out half of the market. Now, when my friend asked me, should he buy a 3080 Ti? I said absolutely for 1399, the EVGA one, because my friend is going to use it for gaming mostly. So that's definitely going to be a great GPU for gaming and considering it has the performance very close to a 3090 for gaming you're getting pretty much a decent price for it if you're using it for that purpose the other gpu we're talking about is also the 3070 ti now this one has been coming in very close in price to the 6700 xt often around 900 to a thousand dollars and the reasons will be very similar it's also going to be light hash rate and the price is a little bit too high for gamers to pick it up very very quickly compared to a 3070 which was originally around 499 now the 30 70 Ti should be MSRP 599, but as we've seen, these third party AIB prices are pretty crazy, often going up considerably higher. I've never actually seen a 3070 Ti for 599, aside from a Founders Edition, which is very difficult to find. Only at that Best Buy drop is when you're really going to see this GPU. So, 3070 Ti, I think it's a very good gaming GPU. It's going to be a little bit less than a 3080, so for around $900 to $1,000, if you're just going to be gaming with it, I mean, there's really nothing else on the market that's going to be any cheaper realistically anytime soon. And I would still prefer the 3070 Ti over something like a 6700 XT, maybe even over a vanilla 6800, because it's going to be close in price, but you're going to have better gaming performance in a lot of cases, especially when it comes down to ray tracing. Just wanted to make you guys aware of the current GPUs that are available and know some reasons that you should know for buying it or perhaps not and why it's in stock. So remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next video.